All right. I thankfully made it through the shower. It has gotten really scary in the last couple of years taking showers because standing in that one spot and like I have to hold my legs apart, which is hard. It's like it's a strain and I'm just on one point and the ground is slippery. I need to get a mat. I talked to my mom about that like a couple weeks ago and I still haven't done it yet. I definitely need to get a nonstick mat. That's on my list, okay. But my wife's on her way home from work and so I don't think I'll have time to respond to every single comment. But I will start and I will just end this when she gets back and then pick it up tomorrow. Wow, man. 1.6 thousand likes on my comment. I've never had that. The closest I ever had happen was uh, on Reddit, on the cryptocurrency Reddit, and a guy had made a post about feeling suicidal because he had, you know, lost like hundreds of thousands of dollars trading, which is that's like quite a classic cryptocurrency. Hey, stop it. You be nice. You be nice. Tinkerbell? Hey! Hey! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Yo, stop! Why are you doing that? Man, she always goes after her legs. But, um... Anyways, yeah. My previous online social media most liked and interacted with comment was a guy who was feeling suicidal about his losses on cryptocurrency and you know I shared I said said something you know I was like hey man I'm here for you and it's not everything and um you know my history with suicide too and I'm gonna make another video too and I've been meaning to tell the story hey stop it being bad <laughs> all day all day this this is my life tinkerbell she's a stinkerbell that's what i call her stanky bee you stanky creature but i uh i'm gonna make a video i actually um it, it has to be its whole own video um but i'll try to do it tomorrow after i finish up catching up with the rest of the comments because it's really important to me to, as much as I can, respond one-on-one. -on -one. Stop it! To as many people as I can. And, uh... But I actually also had an experience where I made and lost uh, about, like, $1.7 million on cryptocurrency, which I know is crazy, and uh, I felt really smart when it was high and then felt really dumb. But that's gotta be its whole other video. But anyways, man, okay. Go to this video. These cats, man. It's a whole reality show with these cats. I'd like to get some actual like super high quality cameras and just live stream all day. Like a nature show where it's just like follow the cats. Man, okay, now I gotta scroll down and find. There must be like a hundred new comments. Oh, and also Super Gamer, he was kind of getting a little trolly with people, but it was it was the other dude. I got him mixed up in this comment section. Uh, it was the other guy. I don't even remember his name. It was a different guy who had said shit or get off the pot cripple. It wasn't Super Gamer. Super Gamer was just being kind of trolly to people about religion. All right. All right, this is still, man, I, five minutes in, I've been talking five minutes, I haven't responded to one person yet. And also, just to be clear, I, I don't truly expect, like, anyone who watches this entire video, 
or you know i'm gonna have i'm definitely gonna have to cut it short like when my wife gets back um that would be rude if she came in and i was like yeah yeah yeah, yeah hey, you know <laughs> um Okay, um, I think, all right, you'll see a Vargas. Thank you. Yeah, my, my granddad and his dad, I'm sorry, my granddad and then his son, my father, they were both um, struggled with alcoholism. And I have struggled with opiate addiction first and then alcoholism. And I would have to say alcoholism was the worst. Like, opiates made me really numb. Alcohol, it turned into a monster on alcohol. And so it has felt like a generational kind of curse that I've struggled with. And, like, with them both being alcoholics, they were both veterans of war with PTSD. And they both shot themselves. And so it's been like this kind of blinking beacon of self-destruction and addiction just written into the story of my life like my father and his father and then even my father's father like my great-grandfather he abandoned my grandfather and he spent like years and years trying to find his dad when he was like in his 50s and he got the genealogy of our whole family mapped it out and um, found, he got us, like, uh, there was a coat of arms that he, he was instrumental in, like, either, either finding it, I don't know, I don't know the whole history, but we have our own coat of arms in my family, but thank you for your comment, though. And then there's, these are more of my replies. Keith McCall, God bless you, too. Thank you. My heart goes out to you too, thank you. Sean Michael. Kombucha, I like kombucha. I need to drink it more regularly. And trusting God and having faith is very important. I, I know every time, like every time I lose track of it, I end up in a dark place and then, and then when I do start to live more by faith and like, trusting and having faith that reality is going the way it's supposed to because all of my anxiety usually ends up coming from feeling like things aren't how they should be but if i can let go of control the need to control it or be like oh it's not how it should be then to accept and and be like no it actually i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be right now it really does help and kombucha is supposed to be really good for the gut. I just started recently learning about probiotics and stuff and gut health. And um, I've only kind of, I haven't read in depth about it yet and I haven't implemented it in my lifestyle yet. But um, all of the stuff about gut health and serotonin and dopamine is really interesting. And it's like a huge, huge part of regulating our emotions. And so, I, you know, I, I have a list I've got stuff that I need to research and be like figuring out and implementing into my life. And so uh, I'm going to try to just be doing that, you know, with whatever I'm learning about. I will post videos and be like, here's what I've been reading. Here's what I'm going to try to do. And, uh, you know, above all, like to share it with other people, but really... <laughs> If I could try to hold myself accountable with these videos, that would help me because so many times I've been like, oh yeah, I'm going to do this, this, and this. I finally, I got this arm bike right here from Amazon that I ordered and I got to figure out how to set that up on a table. My kitchen table is probably too flimsy. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out like what the best setup is. But when I can start getting my heart rate up every day, that's going to be really good. And hopefully, I'll be able to hold myself accountable. And it can just be like, you know, if I'm not making videos and it's like I haven't made a video in a while, you can probably bet I have been watching TV and like 
got discouraged or just kind of gone back to the escapism. I go back and forth. Like, I've never had any period where I was consistently, like, on top of things, I guess. Man, some of these comments I didn't see yesterday, but it's showing them before some of the other comments that I did see. It was probably while I was making the video that the comment was left. Mandy Durrell, thank you. You left a comment like right after I posted the other video replying to everybody's comments, so thank you. Sold to be dyers. I was born here and I'll die here against my will by Bob Dylan. Someone told me I looked like Bob Dylan once, but I don't know. I don't off the top of my head remember what he looks like. And that was also when my hair, I used to have like long kind of hair. Or so, or so day. Don't have kids. Don't make another person suffer like yourself. I have definitely felt like that for a long time. Like, you know, what kind of monster would bring a child into this hell? And, um, you know, that is, it's easy to see things that way. <laughs> uh, I don't have, I'm not planning to have a kid right now. But if it ever happens, um, I guess I'll deal with it when it happens. V bin. It's good that you have Jesus. Okay, Rico came back and responded to me again. Thank you, man. Wish you the best as well. And here's someone, their username is some sort of Chinese, Chinese characters. Thank you for your comment. And I'm trying, I'm trying to trust in God as much as possible. California Livings, thanks again. So polar. Have I seen Mar Adentro with Javier Bardem? I'm gonna look that up real quick. I think I know what movie you're talking about. Wait, what is it? What is it? Um, Mar Adentro. The Sea Inside. Yeah. Um, I saw it a long time ago, or at least part of it. I don't know if I watched the whole thing. Um, I vaguely remember it though, where he's completely paralyzed. And yeah, there are people who have it like, I mean, I'm in a lot of pain. I have trouble walking, trouble sleeping, but there are definitely people who have it even worse than me. And uh, you know, it's all on a spectrum. I've met people who were so much more disabled than me that I was like, oh my goodness, I am like, feel like an Olympic athlete compared to this person. And there's this guy I met at an open mic in my city. It's like a variety open mic. People do comedy, people do poetry, people sing. There's all kinds of stuff. And um, he's in a wheelchair and he's a lot more disabled than I am. And he's actually um, one of the most positive people I've ever met. Like. He, he was inspiring to me. Electronic alligator, you need to get rich quick so you can cryogenize yourself. <laughs> I guess uh, cryogenize myself so that in the future, when there's a cure for my disease or something, or like they put me on an android body. um, You know, even if that was a thing where people started actually doing it. And I know like 
supposedly Walt Disney had his head cryogenically frozen. Um, I don't think I would ever do it because it doesn't, <laughs> I don't think it's natural and I would not, it's just too weird. I wouldn't want to be like wake back up, you know, a thousand years from now. And then it's like, who knows? Like, why did you put my head, who's even in control, you know, of like putting your head back together? What if they attach you to a machine where you're alive, but you're just like, a prisoner forever or something <laughs> though I don't know who would do that but Paul King thank you you matter too thank you I know I don't know if my comment um I didn't mean for it to come off as like too negative I I do struggle I mean it's a daily thing like it just keeps happening I and I I'll be good and I'll be bad. Like, these last few days, I've been doing pretty well. But then before that, had a few weeks where I wasn't doing so well. It's like, I just go back and forth. Another thing, too, I really want to try to say like less. Tinkerbell, stop it! I become aware of it sometimes. I'm going to try to say it less. And I have thought about writing a book. Um, I, I have written in the past, but I'm not as good. I'm not as good at writing. But I know it takes practice too, so if I started writing a little every day, I would definitely get better at it. And I also, the points where I have been reading more, 